Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I wanted to show you the journal that I finished up yesterday. There's a link on my website that will take you securely to PayPal if you're interested in this one. First, let me tell you about the ribbon on the outside. I love this. I almost think it was some sort of seam binding because it was folded. And I think it's older. It's a piece I've had for a while. So I, you know, got it wet and distressed it a little bit and then dried it. And it's really nice and wide and it's long enough to tie in a bow. Look at that pretty distressing. And it is long enough that you don't have to cinch the journal. And I think that's really important with a journal like this. It's grungy. The pages are all different sizes. This journal is meant to not be careful with, um, if that makes sense. Uh, I say that it's meant to be careful with, not to be careful with. Like you don't want to cinch it because you don't want to bend these pages. And yet one of my favorite things about a journal that's handmade, that's a junk journal, that's distressed, that's grungy, is that you don't have to treat it with kid gloves. If you need to mend a page with masking tape, if you need to uh, make a page sturdy by gluing something else on top of it, if you need to come into the center of the book and put a piece of tape on the binding. So this is a journal that is meant to be worked in. Um, you can see on the front, there's a tag. This one is called Window on the Garden because it's got the little window that we made inside. There are some beautiful beads on the outside, including some glass beads that I recently purchased from Rare Earth Beads. Also one of these beautiful beads, this is Mukite Jasper, that beautiful gold. And then the others are glass. So this is just on this piece of fabric with the safety pin. There's a button on the front and a piece of rusty metal that's just sewn onto the front. So going through, you're gonna see a lot of distressed pages. Some of these pages came from my art desk. This tag was cut from a piece of paper that had been on the desk and I had worked on top of it. There is a little pocket in front another safety pin in front with a little heart, a metal heart charm, and some sketching and painting that I've done. Again, that's from the art desk. This is from a beautiful uh, calendar that was made by Cavallini, so the paper is really nice, and uh, wallpaper that was from a recent trip to Reconsidered Goods in Greensboro. I love that, and I just wrote hope and believe there a lot of uh, distressing and staining. This is actually a fabric page in the center of everything. And it has um, some mushrooms that I printed on fabric and sewed them on here and then distressed it. A piece of vintage lace that's been distressed. And then uh, there's a belly band with the snippet roll that Mary created. So there is a piece of Mary's artwork in here as well. This is a tag that's made from part of a file folder. You know, we recently talked about using parts of file folders, um, and there's some of that in here. There's a wooden tag that Mary sent to me, so I just grunged that up a little bit and stamped it with a flower stamp. Uh, this was a page that was torn, and I taped it with masking tape, which I think just makes it even more beautiful. Uh, there's some alcohol ink that came from a butterfly that I distressed. A paper butterfly, not a real one. There is a little bird sketch, and I put a piece of fabric that just says bird. I love things like that. Another beautiful stamp. More of the wallpaper, and there is a beautiful image. There's one of the butterflies that's been dyed with alcohol ink, and it's just glued loosely into place. It's secure, but what I mean by loosely, it is just in the center, so you can still move those wings around a little bit. There's a vintage ad for corsets, and you can just see all the beautiful color and the distressing. I love little things like that. So that was a tag that fell off of a book. I think it was a library book that I then p purchased at a thrift store. And you can see the, the Dewey Decimal number there. So uh, I glued that onto that page. Another beautiful stamp. And then here is the window on the beautiful image of the girl looking over her shoulder. And just some little flowers that were sketched and then painted with some watercolor. There's another butterfly stamp, a postage stamp, and more distressing. 
uh, really large book pages in here. And there is more of that Cavallini calendar here from 2004. Part of a book page here and a lot of grunge and distressing. And you can see there's a lot of room for you to work here. Another beautiful image. And then here is an old magazine page, uh, very old. This I think this is from 1921. Yeah, November 1921. And it just shows the little paper dolls. That page you can see is ragged and old. And this is part of a tag, of course, with another stamp and just a little bit of watercolor and different inks around here. There's a piece of lace that's been distressed and sewn into place. Another little drawing. And a stamp. And then we are at the back. And there is my stamp on the back. So this journal is just ready to have a lot of fun in, to, to glue in, to write in to continue to grunge and just add stamping and tape and quotations whatever you want to do with this pictures of your garden and i'm going to go ahead and tie this again there is a link to purchase this journal if you're interested and i will be back really soon thank you so much for watching bye for now